Hi, my name is Isabel. I'm just starting my second year of my visa in the tropical immunology group. Um, and my research relates to T cell responses to SARS-CoV-2 and inhibitors assay for their measurement. Um, so we're interested in T cell responses to SARS-CoV-2 induced either by the vaccine or by the virus itself, because T cells play a really important role in control of viral infection. Um, CD8 T cells have roles in direct killing of infected cells, and CD4 T cells provide help to other immune cells. So, for example, you wouldn't have many antibodies without your CD4 T cells telling your B cells what to do. Um, so, for the first part of my video, I've been investigating correlates of protection against COVID 19 breakthrough infection, that is, um, infection with SARS CoV 2 after having received two doses of. Um, SARS CoV 2 vaccines. So, for this, I've been using study, um, samples from PITCH, which is a national cohort study of healthcare workers, um, many of whom were enrolled before their first vaccine dose and have been followed up to after their third vaccine dose. And a number of <laughs> healthcare workers have experienced breakthrough infection between their second and third vaccine um, at which time Delta was the predominant SARS CoV 2 variant in the UK. Um, so I've been using samples from the dose two plus one month time point, which roughly corresponds with the peak immune response after second vaccination, um, to identify a group of breakthrough cases and match controls. And then in these two groups to compare their antibody responses, their memory B cell responses, and their T cell responses to attempt to identify correlates of protection against the infection. We're particularly interested in T cell responses um, in this context because. T cell responses are often not studied at scale. Um, for example, they weren't investigated in many of the phase three um, trials for COVID 19 vaccines. And part of the reason for this is because current um, T cell assays are complex, time consuming, and resource intensive. So, for example, the ELI spot, uh, which is a gold standard in our lab, um, involves isolation of PBMCs, which is technically challenging. The cryopreservation of cells before um, simulation, which can introduce some variability, um, and specialist equipment for obtaining readout. So, for the second part of my default, I'll be um, building on previous work in the lab to um, develop scalable T cell assays that are quantitative and also practical for use in a collaborating site such as Thailand. Um, ideally, these would use cold blood and standard laboratory equipment for obtaining a readout. 